guys uh, welcome on our webinar trade stock cfds and stocks like a boss uh, please uh, let me know that you can hear me and everything is okay with audio and video oh we have brazilian como vai eu falo um pouco de português tudo bem <laughs> we have brazilians that's a new Think, beleza, amigo. Muy bien, muy bien, irmão. <laughs> muy bien, Spanish. <laughs> Muito bom. I speak Spanish, Portuguese. Ah, so yes. Obrigado, irmão. Obrigado. Oh, Tanzanian. Awesome, guys. Awesome. All over the world. Uh, with my webinars, uh, well, with my webinars, I can uh, be everywhere, right? Uh, wherever you have internet, but uh, I also uh, did seminars all over the globe, uh, Latin America, Africa, Asia, everywhere. Uh, so it was always a pleasure to meet uh, traders all over the world. Uh, and it's also a pleasure to meet you guys. Uh, here, hopefully, we're going to meet in person on one of the seminars that we will have once this crazy COVID will end. Uh, so, my friends, uh, again, uh, thanks for coming. Uh, today, we're supposed to talk about stock CFDs, uh, right? Because uh, this webinar was planned uh, a few weeks ago. But in the meantime, Axiori opened new account where you uh, can trade also normal stocks and ETFs. So not only stock CFDs, but also normal stocks. Uh, and I will uh, talk today about stock CFDs as uh, we planned originally, but I will also add uh, stocks and ETFs. Uh, so Axior is growing like crazy. We are opening new accounts. Uh, now you have thousands of instruments to trade. You have Forex, you have commodities, you have uh, stock CFDs, you have stocks. Uh, you have also ETFs. Uh, so a huge, uh, huge uh, diversity. And uh, you can diversify your portfolio using different uh, instruments. So we have people from South Africa. I would love to visit South Africa. I would love to visit Cape Town. I heard that it's a beautiful place. Many people told me that Cape Town is absolutely brilliant. So that's on my list. Uh, anyways, my friends, uh, let's start. Uh, I guess some of you are here for the first time uh, on the um, auxiliary uh, Axiori uh, webinar. Uh, so first, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Tomasz Wisniewski. I'm a professional trader for the past 10 years. Uh, I do mostly price action, uh, swing trading. Um, I also teach. Um, I did over 500 webinars and seminars across the globe. Uh, Sometimes I, I give interviews to the media. Uh, they ask about, I don't know, what happened with oil, what happened with gold, why euro is uh, weaker, why dollar is stronger. So then you have to go to uh, TV and explain this. I was also an academic guest uh, lecturer. Oh, we have Nigerian. I was also in uh, Lagos and Abuja and Kano. We have um, people from India. Also did seminar in uh, New Delhi and Mumbai. Uh, so uh, it's awesome to have you here uh, from all over uh, the world. Which is absolutely brilliant, guys. Uh, it's uh, Trading is an amazing activity that everybody can do it, really. Um, of course, in order to do it profitably, you need a lot of experience and, and knowledge and skills. Uh, but everybody can at least start trading, no matter where you were born, what is your nationality, uh, religion, etc., etc. Trading is for everyone. 
and uh, I really believe that everybody can learn trading, especially that myself, I didn't uh, finish uh, any financial studies. I graduated from three universities, but none of the uh, diploma was from finance or, or economics. So I think everybody can do this. My friends, so again, today we are going to talk about stocks and stocks CFDs. First, let me tell you about stocks. I guess everybody know uh, about trading stocks, you watched uh, movies, um, Wolf of Wall Street, Wall Street, original Wall Street. So, uh, and maybe probably you traded stocks. I mean, uh, they teach how to trade stocks in school. Uh, also, I'm more than sure that you are aware of the fact that you have a stock exchange in your country. Uh, the biggest companies that you all know are traded on the stock exchange. So most probably you bought at least one share on your local stock exchange. Am I right? Uh, please confirm on the chat that you traded on the stock exchange. If not, of course, nothing happens. Uh, but normally I would say that, uh, that it's a common practice that uh, you first start trading on a local stock exchange and then you move to the forex market for example uh, if you didn't trade uh, trade on a stock exchange it's uh, it's not a problem of course uh, but anyways let me tell you basics basics about uh, stocks uh, so what are stocks uh, well, it is a security that uh, represents the ownership uh, of a fraction of a corporation, of a fraction of a company. Uh, so by buying share of Apple, uh, you really become a shareholder of, uh, of Apple. It's uh, crazy. <laughs> it may sound crazy, but it's like this. Um, so this entitles the owner of the stock to a, a proportion of the corporation assets and profits equal to how much uh, stock they uh, own. So really by buying one share of Apple, uh, you become a shareholder of, uh, of Apple. Uh, so why do they uh, exist? Why do stocks uh, exist, uh, shares uh, exist? So main reason is that the company desired to raise capital from investors by selling a part of the company in form of stocks uh, on, uh, on the market. So it's, you know, there is a, um, some kind of responsibility and a bit of problems involved if you want to be listed on the stock exchange because you need to uh, show all your profits you need to show all your books income spendings everything you need to do all this uh, reporting and many people don't uh, many companies don't want to do this but if you want to be listed on the stock exchange you have to do this and many companies go through this process because they want to raise money they want to uh, enter uh, the stock exchange in order to raise additional uh, capital from uh, investors. So they are selling part of the company uh, to uh, institutions, but also to uh, retail uh, traders, to anyone uh, who will buy those uh, shares on the stock uh, exchange. In uh, this case, company gets this money and increase uh, the capital they have money for example for uh, research for innovation uh, like it's a common trend uh, in poland at least in my country that uh, we have a lot of game uh, developers uh, probably you uh, heard about uh, witcher this game uh, or cyberpunk uh, right it's uh, it's very popular uh, um, at the moment and it was developed uh, by a company called uh, cd uh, project uh, and after their success a lot of those uh, game developer uh, um, those gaming companies started to uh, to join the uh, stock exchange uh, they went through ipo uh, in order to get the money from uh, tr from investors and this money uh, helps them to uh, develop new games, right? So that's 
the process. Or, for example, you have uh, biotech uh, companies which are working, for example, to develop a cure for cancer, right? It's uh, hard to imagine that the small uh, biotech company would have uh, the money for the research. So they need investors. Uh, they need the injection of uh, the capital. And one way to do this is to um, enter the stock exchange, uh, sell the shares, uh, sell those parts uh, of the company in order to get money. And they have money for the research to uh, develop this, hopefully, cure for uh, cancer. Um, so those shares uh, are traded on the stock exchange where uh, this company is uh, is traded, right? So most American companies are traded on uh, New York Stock Exchange, but there are some, for example, like Chinese companies which are traded on New York Stock Exchange. Um, there are some Polish companies which are traded on, I don't know, uh, in Amsterdam, for example, uh, in the uh, stock exchange uh, in Netherlands. Uh, so it all depends, but most of the companies are traded on the stock exchange uh, where uh, the company operates, uh, let's say like this. Uh, how do you make money? Uh, well, two main ways of making money uh, by owning uh, shares. Uh, first option, uh, most obvious one is that, for example, you buy shares of Apple for $100. And if uh, the price will go to $105, you made $5 per one share. You can, so you bought for $100, you're selling for $105, you made $5 on one share. That's it. Another option to uh, make money is by dividends. Okay, what is a dividend? So it works like this. Uh, let's say that uh, the company that you're owning uh, that you have shares, uh, made profit. Uh, it's a common practice. Well, it all depends, of course, but it's a common practice that if company made profit, uh, they will share this profit with shareholders. So, for example, uh, they made some profit and they want to share 50% of this profit to shareholders. So they split uh, this profit among all the shares that they have and you get like, for example, $2 per share of, of uh, the dividend, okay? So if you own those shares, you get additional $2 uh, from this because company is giving the profit. Sometimes the company will give all the profit to shareholders. Sometimes we'll give like, for example, 50% to shareholders and then 50% will uh, spend for, uh, for something or sometimes they will make profit and will not pay uh, pay a dividend. It was common thing last year, for example, because uh, companies were not sure about the future. They were not sure about uh, the COVID situation. So even if someone made profit, uh, they were not companies were not so keen to share this profit because of this uncertainty. Let's move on. So these are uh, these are uh, stocks. Um, I'm gonna show you uh, how is it to trade uh, stocks on our new alpha account. What, what are uh, the conditions? Uh, so if you want to trade uh, shares on our alpha account, uh, you will do it on MetaTrader 5 uh, platform. Uh, if you don't have uh, experience with MetaTrader 5, don't worry, it's very similar to MetaTrader 4. If you don't have experience with MetaTrader 4 uh, uh, either, then don't worry because those platforms are very user-friendly and I'm sure that our customer support will be more than happy, I'm sorry, will be more than happy to uh, help you, to assist you with uh, those uh, platforms. What is very important and is uh, one of the big differences between uh, shares, between uh, normal shares and uh, stock uh, CFDs and uh, between normal stock and stock CFDs is the leverage. So if you trade stocks, normal stocks, you cannot use leverage. Uh, I will explain uh, leverage later, but uh, for now, let's say that if you want to buy um, 
if you have one thousand dollars and you want to buy a shares of apple okay then you can spend only this one thousand dollars and buy one thousand uh, shares for one thousand dollars so for example uh, if um, one share costs i don't know 100 <laughs> uh, $100, so for $1,000, you will be able to buy 10 shares. That's it. Okay? On stock CFDs, you will be able to buy more because of the fact that there will be leverage. Okay? So that's uh, one of the biggest differences, that by using CFDs, you can actually operate, you can actually control more than on normal uh, stocks normal stocks are pretty straightforward yes you have ten thousand dollars you can buy shares for ten thousand dollars that's that's pretty much it on stock cfds it works slightly different and i will explain you that a bit later very important thing that uh, by trading stocks on our account you can only go long well it's a common practice uh by going long we mean that you can only buy okay you cannot uh, sell you can only sell of course if you own uh, those shares so um, if you have one share of apple you can sell it but if you have zero shares of apple you cannot sell it because you you don't have it so you can only go long that implicates one thing because in general people on stock exchange earn money only when the prices go up which implicates this one thing that stocks mostly go up there is um, there's kind of a joke because there is we have a new uh, a lot of new traders after after this covid uh, drop after this covid recession uh, people who joined the market after the initial bounce after this uh, this huge drop after covid uh, when american stock exchange was almost every day going higher and higher and higher and higher session plus one uh, plus one per uh, plus one percent plus half percent plus one percent every single day so uh, many people have this perception that stocks can only go up <laughs> which is obviously not true they can uh, also go down uh we've <laughs> we found that out during the COVID recession okay but now uh, there is this joke that stocks only go up you cannot lose money by by going long on stocks uh, which is a misconception of course you can uh, lose money by going long on stocks but again in the long term in the very very long term indices and stocks tend to go up most of them not all of them every single time all the time but in general most of them usually tend to go up and if you want to trade stocks you can only buy uh, these are netting accounts which means uh, that you cannot have uh, two uh, separate positions on one uh, instrument for example if you want to uh, buy uh, two shares and then sell one share you will not have two positions of uh, two long and one short you will have one long position left okay so uh, you have netting uh, accounts you cannot have two separate uh, positions on one uh, instrument Minimum uh, step size is one lot and one lot equals to one stock. It's very easy to calculate this. Uh, one lot equals one stock. You see the price of one uh, share and you know how much money do you, uh, you need. No swaps. Uh, what is a swap? Who can tell me uh, what is a swap? Maybe some of you uh, used to trade currencies, and if you trade currencies, you know what the swap is. So please, please, please tell me what the swap is. <laughs> yes. 
Yes, price for uh, rollover or overnight hold. Swap uh, swaps come from a forex market, right? So, uh, it's the difference in the interest rates. Uh, if you uh, buy uh, the currency with higher interest rate, using the currency with lower interest rate, uh, you will get positive swaps, okay? Because you are buying currency with high interest rates. On the other hand, if you're buying currency with uh, lower interest rate, using currency with higher interest rate, uh, you will have to pay uh, pay uh, swaps overnight. It's uh, it's a fraction of um, of uh, let's say your profit or uh, or loss. Uh, we have commissions as every uh, as every broker uh, does. We have. Uh, we have commissions, uh, but Axiari really have super low commissions. Uh, we are very competitive on this field. Uh, you have to try uh, yourself. And sometimes you have other uh, other fees that you have to pay, uh, like for example, stamp duty reserve tax on UK stocks. Uh, but it's for everyone. So on Alpha account, we have stocks and we have ETFs. What are ETFs? I will tell you uh, a bit uh, later, but you can see we have um, uh, stocks from, uh, from US, we have stocks from uh, Germany, uh, from Italy, from UK, and uh, from uh, Amsterdam, so from Netherlands and ETFs as well. Now let's move to stock CFDs. CFD is a shortcut uh, from it's coming from contract for uh, difference. So this type of instrument allows you to benefit from the price movement uh, and from um, all this characteristic that uh, comes with owning share but without owning this physical uh, share, without really purchasing this uh, share. So by buying a stock CFD of Apple, you do not become a shareholder of Apple, uh, but you can benefit if the price of this share will go higher. You don't own the asset, but you still can benefit from the price going higher. That's uh, one of the difference. Another difference is uh, which you can see on this uh, on this graph here. So first one is you don't own this asset. Uh, the second difference is that you can go short on stock CFDs. You can sell stock CFDs which means that you will be able to make money if the price will go down. And this is absolutely brilliant because with stock CFDs, with Forex, where you can go both ways uh, on the currency pairs, with commodities and ETFs, you are covered. Whatever happens, for sure you will be able to find an instrument which will have amazing trading opportunity for you. Okay, because sometimes you have uh, traders on the stock exchange, which uh, during the recession are complaining, oh my God, I'm losing money, my stocks are going lower. Fair enough, it's a tragedy, of course. But the thing is that if you have the possibility to trade stock CFDs, you can make money during recession because you can sell stock CFDs and by selling stock CFDs, you are able to make money when the price goes down. Also, CFDs are leveraged. Again, you remember I was talking about uh, stocks that there is no leverage. So you have $1,000, you can buy only uh, stocks for $1,000. On the other hand, on CFD, you have leverage. 
and the leverage allows investors to gain exposure to the financial markets with a smaller upfront capital known as mar uh, as margin as, as margin so on cfds you pay margin depending from uh, the leverage depending from uh, what the leverage is for example uh, you can have with the same amount of money as you have on stocks you can for example own five times more worth of uh, of assets using cfds or 10 times more which is absolutely brilliant for small accounts if you are just starting or you don't have uh, a lot of money to invest right you have, I don't know, $100 or $1,000. Uh, investing in stocks would be maybe not painful. It's always great to trade stocks. But it can be difficult to, uh, to enjoy this if you will be having $10 profit or $5 profit, right? But with co uh, CFDs, it makes sense. Because with $1,000, you will be able to uh, operate really using like $5,000, okay? And profit from this, uh, from those transactions will start to make sense. Especially that you will be able to go both ways. Again, you can go short and you can go, uh, go long. Here is an example of going short using the leverage uh, on uh, on cfds you see it depends uh, how uh, how big the margin is like here for example it's like five percent uh, requirement which uh, will uh, require 50 uh, 50 pounds uh, deposit but let's say that uh, you uh, go short for for one pound uh and you're shorting 1000 cfds the price drops for 22 pence to 78 pence and then you close your uh, position and from this using um, leverage uh, you have 220 uh, pounds profit which is absolutely amazing Here is another um, calculation which allows you to understand margin uh, because he, here it shows you the difference between the margin of 3% and uh, the margin of uh, 5%. Uh, okay, using the margin and using the leverage, uh, why the leverage was introduced to the market? Uh, leverage was introduced to the market on um, to the forex market why because you may think that forex market is volatile but it's totally not changes on the forex market are like half percent 0.2 percent a day sometimes 0.7 which compared to the stock exchange is nothing right so in order to be able to benefit from those small movements on the forex market uh, they introduced the leverage so you can uh, make uh, good money uh, by investing on relatively uh, low, vo uh, low volatility market. And the same applies uh, here. Uh, using the leverage and the concept, the whole concept of margin, you are able to make a decent profit or of course also a loss if you will go uh, the other way uh you can make this profit or a loss in case uh, of even a small movement if the price will go from five pounds to 5.1 okay you can benefit from really really small uh, small uh, movements i told you that also i'm gonna uh, mention exchange traded funds 
Uh, so what are ETFs? Because from now on, we're going to call them ETFs, uh, Exchange Traded Fund. is a type of security that tracks an index or sector or commodity or other asset, uh, which can be purchased or sold on a stock exchange, uh, the same as regular uh, stock. An ETF can be structured to track anything from the price of an individual commodity to a large and diverse uh, collection of securities. ETFs can even be structured to track specific investment strategies. Just that you uh, know, example from, uh, from my trading. So re recently, a few weeks ago, I used to trade ETF uh, for gold miners. So... There was the ETF uh, created by gathering gold mining companies. Simple as this. There was a price of this ETF. When uh, those gold mining companies, uh, the price of those gold mining uh, companies was going higher, ETF was also uh, going higher. ETF uh, price of gold mining companies was also going higher when gold was going higher. So, in consequence, when gold was going higher, ETF for gold miners was also going higher. In Poland, on Polish Stock Exchange, we don't have gold miners. We have one of the biggest copper uh, producers in the world. We have a, a largest silver producer in the world, but we don't have gold mining companies. That's why I decided to uh, trade ETF for, uh, for gold miners uh, because I was firmly uh, believing that gold will go higher, and it did. By the way, we did a we webinar about this, about the situation on gold, uh, and on this webinar, which you can see on YouTube, on our channel on YouTube, I said that gold will go higher, uh, and it did. Gold went higher. That's probably one of the reasons why we want to... Uh, reward. Uh, we want a prize for uh, for the best forex educator. Uh, but <laughs> gold went higher. It's not that. Also on the webinars, I'm just uh, telling you that the gold will go higher. Okay, everybody can do this, right? But you have to back it up with your actions. So not only I said that the gold will go higher, but uh, I also traded this myself partly by going long on ETF on gold miners, okay? You have ETFs on various uh, things, like you have ETFs for Polish stock exchange, if you don't want to uh, trade on, uh, di uh, like directly on stock exchange, you have ETFs for almost, uh, almost uh, everything uh, right now. And, Again, we do have those ETFs on our uh, on our uh, platform, which is absolutely brilliant for uh, diversifying your uh, portfolio. Uh, if you trade shares and it's your first time to trade shares, uh, we need to tell you about those values which you will encounter on our MT5 uh, platform. Maybe I'll not go through this uh, in a great uh, detail. This uh, this webinar will be recorded. You will have the recording. Uh, so if you would like to know what is uh, what does it mean assets, for example, then you can just pause the video and you can read this uh, this uh, description. It's not like um, um, essential for. Uh, for you to know this uh, right now, but it can be useful at some point of your uh, trading uh, journey. One thing that you need to remember is the currency risk when uh, trading uh, stocks. Because you buy stock and this the price of this stock can go higher and uh, it can go higher from let's say $100 to those $103. So you may think that you earned $3, okay? But in the same time, your currency weakened. Your currency went lower. So you were buying uh, this share for $100. So your currency had to be exchanged to dollars. 
and it happened two months ago. And during these two months, the price of the share went higher. So in theory, you will get more dollars, but your currency weakened. So uh, when you will exchange dollars back to your currency, you will get less money, even after the fact that you got more dollars because you got $103 instead of $100, but your currency is weaker. So you will get less of your currency. So in consequence, even if the share went higher, but, your car, but the currency that you're uh, trading with dropped, against the dollar or against the euro uh, it will mean that in consequence you uh, lost uh, money so uh, when calculating trade profit loss it is always necessary to always calculate the change in position value including currency rates and not only the difference between open or close uh, price so keep that in mind my friends that it can happen like here you have this uh, this example in case of Apple uh, between CFD and real uh, stock. Also, you will be able to pause this video and read this uh, this uh, example. Uh, but now I would like to show you the uh, chart. So I would like to show you the MetaTrader 4 platform and MetaTrader 5 platform. Uh, so please uh, wait, I'm going to share my screen. Can you see my screen, my friends? Can you see the platform? Can you see the MetaTrader 4 platform? Excellent. Thanks very much for confirmation. So this is MetaTrader 4 platform where we do have stock CFDs. As you can see, here we do have uh, currencies, we do have also stock CFDs. And you can see the background is different, right? So Forex market is uh, like uh, light green indices are like, I don't know what's that, that's bluish, something like this. And stock CFDs are purple. I hope it's purple. Uh, here I, I open my account history to show you that I trade myself uh, those stock CFDs on our auxiliary account. Uh, for example, AMD, which resulted in a, in a nice profit. Activision, which ended on small loss. And for example, Tesla, uh, which I made nice uh, profit of 2000 uh, euros. And let me actually show you the trade. If you don't know how to do this, from account history, if you want to see the trade on the chart, you uh, highlight the trade and uh, drag and drop. So you put this uh, trade on the chart. You can see, maybe if I will remove the period separators uh, from here, you will see it better or even like this. Uh, here is this, uh, this line. Here is the place where the position was open. Here is the place where the position was closed. So you can see that I traded, uh, traded uh, Tesla. It was a very good trade because I uh, caught the bottom uh, of this bearish correction and I managed to squeeze almost the uh, entire rise here. As you can see, the price is now is now lower, so it was pretty, a pretty awesome uh, trade. So, what I would like to show you uh, is uh, how to operate with uh, with uh, stock CFDs here. Uh, let's take this Apple. We talk a lot about Apple. Uh, you click with the right button uh, here on this instrument. You go to specification, uh, and you have specification of this uh, of this uh, instrument. Uh, important thing is trading hours, right? Because um, uh, futures for index like S&P 500 is open 24, 24, 5. Okay, you can trade um, futures for S&P 500, for example, for the index during the European session. Uh, but uh, 
stock CFDs and stocks, not so much. No, they are open during the opening hours of the stock exchange. Also, one uh, difference is swaps. There are swaps on stock CFDs. Okay, there are no swaps on the uh, on the shares, but there's uh, on CFDs. You can see also margin uh, percentage, twenty percent. That's uh, what is required for you to open the position. Uh, that's pretty much it. What you what you need to uh, what you need to know when you want to trade uh, those instruments. Opening hours swaps uh, and uh, from the maximum practical point of view, my friends, I have to tell you that. Uh, those instruments, those shares uh, which are liquid, so there's uh, a lot going on there. There's a lot of investors, traders, a lot of money floating on this uh, instrument. And then those instruments, they respect the technical analysis. They respect the technical analysis a lot. So you don't need any additional knowledge uh, in order to apply technical analysis to stocks, okay? So flags, uh, head and shoulder patterns, double bottoms, everything applies there. Everything works, really. Candlestick patterns, really, 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 you can apply technical analysis to shares. One thing that you need to remember, is the power of trends on currencies those trends are flu uh, are fluctuating right sometimes we have uptrend sometimes downtrend it changes it changes more often on the other hand on stocks uh it does not change so much in a, when there is an uh, bullish trend on the stock exchanges worldwide for many years, it is, uh, and the stock is climbing higher. It is always more probable that there will be correction, but a uh, strong upswing. Then a correction, but then come back to the main trend and an upswing. So again, guys, just to make this absolutely clear, uh, there are stocks which are going lower. There are stocks which are absolutely terrible. But in general, in uptrends, most of the stocks are usually climbing higher. It does not mean that you will always make money by buying stocks. No, it's just how it's built. When uh, there is an uptrend, when there is a bullish trend, people are buying stocks and they are usually climbing higher. Hey, but Another thing to remember is that uh, technical analysis applies there. Really, I, when I was opening those trades, I didn't uh, do any fundamental research about this. It was just pure technical analysis. Like, for example, uh, let me explain you this, uh, this trade on, uh, on Tesla. So this trade was open here and closed here. Yes, open here, closed here. The reason why I opened this position here is uh, because there was this uptrend and the price corrected to 38 point of Fibonacci, first one and second one. Uh, price bounced from, uh, from this uh, 38 point of Fibonacci. That's why I decided to open a long position. It's pretty simple. I talk about this 38.2 uh, Fibonacci very often, uh, so it shouldn't be a surprise that, again, if I uh, make an analysis about something, I talk about this often, most probably I also trade it. I also trade it myself. Uh, so I, for sure I mentioned this Tesla, that Tesla is uh, flirting with 38.2. So I traded this myself. No additional fundamental research, no nothing, just a pure, pure technical analysis uh, which you can apply and trade on stocks. 
My friends, uh, MetaTrader 5. Maybe you didn't even notice that I changed the platform because they are so, so similar. MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 5. And this is our MetaTrader 5 platform where you can, so on MetaTrader 4, you can trade stock CFDs. On MetaTrader 5, you can trade stocks and ETFs. As you can see, free instruments open, eBay, Qualcomm, Apple. Why Apple and Qualcomm? Uh, because I made uh, an analysis uh, about this, uh, but uh, let me show it a bit later. Because on our website, uh, we have, or I will do like this, and I will do like this, and this, okay. Let me share my screen again. Okay, do you see, uh, do you see uh, the website? It's uh, Axior Intelligence. Here, I'm going to send you the link. So I have the Qualcomm and Apple open because I made an uh, analysis of Apple and Qualcomm. And every day, hopefully every day, you will be able to see this kind of, uh, of analysis on Axior Intelligence website and our Twitter. Uh, where I share my view about uh, the best stock that I find uh, interesting on the uh, on our platform. Okay, so today, uh, before the start of the session, it was Qualcomm. After this, uh, this beautiful upswing. Also, when you will read this analysis, you will see it's like a pure, pure technical analysis, which, of course, in my opinion, works the best. <laughs> Anyway, what I would like to show you here is uh, the list of instruments where you have to click there. One more time. You click on this icon, show symbol list. And then you can see all the stocks that we have um, from Euronext, from Amsterdam. Here, Amsterdam. London Stock Exchange, uh, Milano Stock Exchange from Italy, NASDAQ, New York Stock Exchange, etc. from Germany. So you have all those companies. Uh, you can trade them, which is absolutely amazing. And ETFs, ETFs from also uh, different stock uh, exchanges. So for example, MSCI India. We have uh, Indian viewers. You have uh, ETF for uh, for India. Um, I don't know what do we have. Electric vehicles, amazing, right? If you want to trade electric, uh, if you believe in electric via uh, vehicles, you have ETF for that. On Nasdaq, what do you have here? Biotech companies, video gaming and esports. If you believe in this uh, this part of the of the industry, also you can uh, you can trade this. Absolutely amazing! You can find uh, everything. Medical devices, for example, cybersecurity, oil fund. Beautiful. So now without with this, you can diversify your portfolio as you want. Like for example, those shares for uh, for Thailand. You click on it, you get the details about this, uh, about the CTF, like uh, trading hours, uh, commissions, the type of orders which you can use, every, uh, every information which you want. And then you go to uh, show symbol, and then it, this added to the market uh, watch. And then you have it. That's the uh, chart of this instrument. 
and if you have the willingness to trade it you can trade it also uh, if you want to find something you can uh, click here on this uh, plus and for example what we can uh, look for we can look for tesla see tesla Uh, oh, why it's not adding? Anyways, my friends. <laughs> Tesla is added. Let's see the chart of Tesla. By the default, you have a, you have a um, template like this. Properties, you can change the template, of course, as, as a normal NT5. I have my uh, save template, purple. And here you have chart of Tesla. Not CFD, but normal, live, real Tesla. Here, here is Tesla CFD, and here is normal Tesla. Everything works like a charm. My friends, do you have any question? about stocks or stock CFDs. Is there any question from your side? Right, the best thing about this is diversification of your portfolio, right? So you really, really, really can uh, make a proper uh, investment portfolio consisting of currencies, commodities, ETFs, stocks, uh, shares. In case of we're going to have another global recession, you have stock CFDs, which you can short, which is, uh, which is absolutely awesome. Penny stocks. We don't have penny stocks uh, on this. Uh, at least we don't have a lot of them. So you can see that we have only biggest companies which are not manipulated so uh, so easily like like those meme stocks uh, ANC uh, or GameStop right so uh, on the list of uh, of the instrument you can see that we have those those biggest players uh, here we all know those companies uh, right Twitter Visa AT&T uh, Philip Morris, Pfizer, Mastercard. No penny stocks here. Which is the best to start uh, between uh, real stock and uh, stock uh, CFDs? Mm, it's hard to say because the best for what? What, uh, what would you like to achieve? I think it's, you have uh, advantages here and advantages there, right? If you want, if you're thinking about, for example, long-term trading, uh, then I would advise uh, real stocks because you don't have swaps. You just open them and, uh, and it's this old school investing. If you don't have a lot of money, then you can try stock CFDs because there is leverage, which will allow you to uh, to trade bigger, let's say. If you want to go short, then of course uh, stock CFDs instead of uh, instead of stocks. Uh, so we have benefits of this. We have benefits of this. It depends. What do you what do you uh, want? Uh, 
Uh, people say if we are very strong in fundamentals, we do not need to worry about fundamentals. We just need to manage the risk. Is that true? Well, for sure, the second part is true that, uh, ah, you mean the, the technical? Uh, well, you always need to manage the risk. I think it's the most important uh, part. Uh, person with a very strong technical skills and, uh, and bad money management will lose money. And person with so so technicals but very strong uh, money man management skills and the person who is managing risk like a boss uh, has uh, better bigger chances for success in my opinion so so managing risk is absolutely crucial here and this is a great question what is the lowest to trade stock? My friends, we let you trade stock. We let you to buy one stock. So you need as much money as to buy one stock. Which in theory means that you can find a stock for $10 and buy one stock for $10, which will mean that you need only $10. Easy. So if you want to trade one stock, you have $10, then you have to find the stock which is trading around $10 and you will not have problems to buy it on our platform, which is, which is amazing, which is amazing. It is always better to learn like this uh, by real trading than, uh, than not. Okay, so that's the lowest what you, uh, what you need. Okay, my friends, I can see that there is no more question, questions. I hope that you enjoyed this webinar and everything is clear, more or less. Uh, for sure, you can ask our customer support. They're, they will tell you everything like how to open this account. And it is really worth to open this account because of diversification. Again, you will have access to global stock exchanges, to the major companies. You will be able to become a shareholder. Uh, you will be able to uh, trade something which you were not able to trade before like ETFs uh, for uh, various, various, let's say, cases like the CTFs for uh, eSport or uh, electronic vehicles. It's amazing, right? We didn't have access to this kind of uh, instruments before. Now you do have this access. Uh, and I think it's, uh, it's absolutely brilliant for your uh, portfolio for diversification of uh, of uh, portfolio. Okay. Thanks very much, my friends. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, I would like to uh, to invite you to our auxiliary intelligence website, uh, where, as you can see, we share a lot of knowledge. Uh, we share videos with uh, the best trading occasions. So there is a lot of content uh, which will make your uh, trading easier. And uh, not only up-to-date analysis about the current market situation, but also uh, look at this. We have, uh, we have content which uh, will help you to grow as a trader, like um, um, educational content as uh, well. Uh, from the trading psychology, money management, all those articles, uh, learn to trade, like five-day trading tips for beginners, etc. There's a lot of those articles on our website. Uh, so, yes, that's why probably Axiom was voted the best educational provider uh, by global traders. Uh, we are very happy about this, uh, this uh, reward, but it's thanks to you guys. Thank you very much for your good, uh, good reviews. Um, I'm very happy that you enjoy our work. Uh, but also at the same time, we are giving you everything what we have. So sharing 
every bit of knowledge that we uh, bit of knowledge and experience that uh, that we are uh, we are having uh, so again vi visit our website visit our twitter account and uh, follow us thanks very much my friends uh,